After that, it's time for us to uh, put our heads uh, up in space because Wednesday was a busy day for the people uh, who spend their working lives craning their necks to the skies. Two important missions were launched. This, nef, huit, sept, six, cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un, top. Allumage P80, décollage. I don't think I've ever heard a French countdown before. Dop, there it was, uh, the countdown, and uh, and then off they went. Uh, that should have tipped you off that the European Space Agency launched a Vega rocket carrying a prototype space plane called the IXV. But uh, what about this one? T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And liftoff. The Falcon takes flight, propelling the Deep Space Climate Observatory on a million mile journey to protect our planet Earth. Well, no false modesty there. That was SpaceX Falcon 9 lifter carrying the Deep Space Climate Observatory Discover into orbit and a long way into space. Dr. Ken Kramer is space journalist for the website Universe Today and America Space. Hello, Dr. Kramer. Hello. 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 Thanks very much for having me. Great to have you with us. How far is the Discover actually going? It's going about a million and a half kilometers away, about a million miles. And I've got to a place called the L1 Lagrange point. That's where it's a gravity stable position between the Earth and the sun. I've heard so it's it going a long way. A long way. I've heard it described as the, f the first space weather satellite. Is that accurate? Well, it's, it's the first new one. We have a, a space weather satellite there right now that's about 20 years old. It's less capable than this new one. So basically, th this will replace that. So it's much, it, you know, it's more advanced and it's newer. And the old one could break down at any at any moment. And it's uh, critical, really, that we have this capability because you know you and I couldn't be speaking if uh, if uh, the satellites were knocked out. So that's why it's important to know about space weather. So uh, by space weather, we're talking about sunspots, solar flares, that kind of thing. Solar flares, right? They eject from the sun. They usually, you know. Uh, giant uh, uh, amounts of energetic particles they hurtle throughout the solar system but of course we're worried about the ones that are heading directly towards the earth and they could take you know a few days to get here and the purpose of this satellite is to provide us warning 15 to 60 minutes um, in, in case it's really headed our way and of course the European Space Agency are very pleased with the performance of uh, of their little uh, space plane today. I mean, it's five meters long, it looks like a sort of space toboggan really, doesn't it? Uh, is is yes. this the prototype of a space shuttle? It is sort of the prototype of a future space shuttle. This This was an experiment and it did go flawlessly, as you mentioned, and so now Europe will carry on to the next stage. They have to decide exactly what they want to do. They have something in mind called pride and with this flawless performance today that will hopefully give them the impetus to to continue it yes well um well we're glowing with pride thank you very much dr kramer for your time sure thanks for having me bye bye okay, ken bye. kramer a space journalist for universe today in america space and i'm sure if you want to read more about it uh you can see there